Hi everyone, I'm Laurencio and in this video I'm going to talk about all James Bond games for the PlayStation 2. James Bond Agent Under Fire is a first person shooter with extras that spice things up and add to an enjoyable experience. You can use gadgets and weapons and I like that the levels, even though linear, the developers left you the option to tackle the levels how you want, meaning that you can tackle the same level in different ways. For example, right from the start, in the first level, you can hack the door or get through the ventilation shaft. It's up to you. And aside the running and gunning, you also get vehicle levels. I like the game. It's varied and action-packed. I like it. James Bond Nightfire has the same game formula as Agent Under Fire. It's a first-person shooter with vehicular levels in between. And it's a well-made sequel. It feels improved. You get more gadgets and the levels are more varied. Now in this videos I intend to be brief and since it will take me a lot of time to detail everything the game got and each feature in particular, I recommend you watch Gaming Pastimes Review. It's very detailed and very well made. I recommend it to you. I will leave a link in the video description to that video. He'll tell you about the game's guided missiles and how you can take down a helicopter with the guided missiles. And about the varied and different sorts of vehicular levels. James Bond Everything or Nothing is a great game, not just as a tie-in, but as a standalone game too. The game is linear and you have to shoot your way through waves of enemies. You get some vehicle sequences too and shooting sequences and you even get split screen multiplayer. And here you can play both the campaign and some multiplayer modes in split screen. In single player James Bond has a bond sense which highlights enemies and you can also use lots of gadgets. I like that you had some open ended areas too and the locales are beautiful. James Bond from Russia with Love has the same game formula as Agent Under Fire. It's an over-the-shoulder run-and-gun shooter with vehicular levels in between and you get to use many sorts of gadgets. The game is pretty straightforward and just like the other James Bond games, fairly easy to beat. It's great for a casual experience. It has explosions everywhere and it features some great action moments. I recommend it to you, just like the other James Bond games. James Bond Quantum of Solace is another over-the-shoulder run-and-gun shooter, but this time it lacks the vehicular levels. You get some stealth levels aside the running and gunning, but no vehicle levels like in past James Bond titles. And it's interesting how the PS2 version is a totally different version than the 360 and PS3 versions. Those are first-person shooters, while here the game is an over-the-shoulder third-person shooter. And you can use grenades on the PS2 version for some reason. I, I don't know why they missed the ability to throw grenades. Quantum of Solace isn't spectacular, but it sure is a good game. It's action-packed with explosions and stuff and, well, it, it's action-packed. It makes you feel badass. And the graphics are pretty good for a PS2. GoldenEye doesn't have James Bond as a protagonist, but GoldenEye, a formal MI6 agent that now works for Goldfinger. The game feels like a cash -in. the controls are clunky and the game doesn't spice things up. There are no vehicular levels or at least lots of good quality action like in Quantum of Solace. It's just running and gunning. And the only thing you're doing in the game, the running and gunning, isn't well made. It's clunky. Thus, the whole campaign has to suffer. I didn't like the game, it's pretty disappointing. And James Pond is a Mega Drive port. James Pond is a fish and a secret agent. The game is a platformer. It's fairly fun, you jump on stuff and can extend, and you can ride a bathtub or a plane, 
The game isn't the best, but it still is nicely made. And don't let the easy gameplay in the first part of the game fool you, because later on, the game gets pretty difficult. But it's still fun, and nicely made. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. You have the link to the join button in the description. Also, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos like me. Thanks for watching.